So I want to talk to you about new beginnings, making a new start. I heard a revelation, uh, uh, something like that from a, a spiritual person recently claiming that they had received that we will have another great unexpected change in the world around this time, this month, this year. And it will be important to be prepared to make a new beginning. So I'm thinking about new beginnings, about leaving the past behind. And I've always been concerned about learning the lessons from the past. And I'm, you know, there are people who are called messy and there are people who collect things, lots of things. There are historians. There are museums. There are libraries. And I'm of the opinion that we need to be conscious and aware of where we come from, maintain an awareness of the past in order to learn from it and to grow on the foundation of the past. And it feels kind of easy to just say, oh, let's just chuck all the st old stuff out and let's just make a new beginning. Let's start from scratch. At the moment, I'm thinking about a particular situation, which I don't think I want to talk about the details in, in this context right now where we can just wipe all the past away, forget about it and make a new beginning and start from scratch again. And it's like ignoring everything that everybody else has done until now, the foundation that we actually stand on. I feel it's, apart from being foolish, it's even disrespectful to those who've invested so much already to bring us to where we are, on whose foundation we stand on. I feel called to not only acknowledge the foundation of those before us, but to honour it and to make it available, to educate our next generation and to really learn from what happened in the past. And apart from that, when we want to talk about our history and saying, yeah, we've had this for so and so many years and this is our so and so anniversary, then it's good to be able to refer to the beginnings also appreciate and be grateful for where we are now, what we have, what we've done, what we've accomplished. So my question today will be, how do you find that balance? How do you know what to retain and what to release? So it's similar, I guess it's a similar question to the decluttering, to the Feng Shui. Okay, so in Feng Shui, they say, hold it in your hand, have a look at it and feel it. And do you love it so much that it has to be a part of your life? Have you worn it over the last six, 12 months? Or fly lady, trash it, share it, give it away, or put it away. So there are lots of approaches to this. But I think I'm talking in a slightly different context. Maybe it still applies. I'm talking about digital stuff, paperwork, office. And I know a lot of people get really bogged down by office stuff, by data, and want to really just chuck everything out. Now, I'm a data assistant and I recognize the importance of data and data can give us information that also shows us trends. But if you really believe, and I do, <laughs> that things can change very, very quickly, then do I have to know exactly how much it changed and when it changed and why it changed? Or should I just embrace the change, jump on the bandwagon and go forward with the new train going high speed ahead into the kingdom of heaven, <laughs> things to think about. I don't see my clock, but I'm going to stop here. So talk to you again later.